Once it was a dream embodied by comic strip hero Dick Tracy talking to his wristwatch radio phone. Now the portable phone is a reality with at least four companies fighting for licenses from Ottawa to sell their systems to Canadians. Even with licenses though, perfecting the equipment will cost millions and nobody is sure just how well they'll sell. Nick Hurst reports on the promise and perils of cellular radio. The car telephone. The status symbol of the modern executive is a frustrating device. For some, it's a vital method of keeping in touch, but its capacity is severely limited. At peak periods, it's often impossible to get a line. In no sense does it provide a true on-the-move alternative to the conventional telephone. A new system is on the way to do just that. This is the new generation of mobile telephone. It's truly portable. You can use it on the street, in your car, almost anywhere, just as if you were using an ordinary telephone. As the technology develops, so the size of this handset is likely to get even smaller. So small that you may be able to wear it like a wristwatch. Mobile telephones today use a single high-powered antenna covering a whole city. Typically, only 12 conversations can take place at the same time. The new system, known as cellular radio, has low-powered transmitters covering 2 to 10 miles. A computer switches a user from cell to cell without losing the signal. The system uses a frequency allowing 300 simultaneous conversations in each cell. This service and this technology are the wave of uh, the way in which voice uh, communications will go. It is these computer switches, the key to the new system, that makes it so expensive. Estimates of the cost of the new phone vary between $1,500 and $5,000. A fast-growing market will bring the price tag down. Competition will be fierce. The Department of Communications has decided there'll be two operators in each centre. They've made that decision, and it's a very sound political decision to do so, to, to break up that market into two. Uh, it is politically sound, but uh, whether it's economically sound or not yet has to be proven. The companies prepared to pour millions of dollars into cellular radio see the possibility of big profits down the road. But they cannot be sure how great the demand will be. What Ottawa is really offering is a license to take a $100 million gamble. This is Nicholas Hurst in Ottawa for the Business Journal.